Hey guys, we're going to be looking at another viewer question, uh, this time from Level 1 MCAT. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so when we have these uh, inequality questions, what is the first thing we do? Well, we've got to get rid of the brackets. We're going to expand the brackets, and we're going to try and see if we can eliminate a few things and rearrange. That's what we're going to do here. So the first step is expanding the brackets. Now, you know, I don't know which way you guys are comfortable with. Uh, pick the one that you're comfortable with. So I've got 12x squared. Sorry, I'm just going to try a different color here. So we've got 12x squared minus 3x uh, plus 4x minus 1, which is less than or equal to. Then I've got my second lot of brackets that I need to deal with, which is going to be 6x and 2x, which is 12x squared uh, plus 18x minus 10x minus 15. Once I have this, what I want to do is I want to bring all the x's to one side and uh, all the numbers to the other side. Now I can kind of see that 12x squared is going to cancel out each other uh, because if I bring 12x, well, I might as well do it. So I am going to be bringing this 12x squared to the left hand side which means it's going to become minus 12x squared. Uh, I should have actually simplified this but it's alright, I'll just do it here. So negative 3 and positive 4 is 1x minus 1 less than or equal to 18 minus 10 which is 8x minus 15 so 12x squared and 12x squared they disappeared so what I've got here is x minus 1 is less than or equal to 8x minus 15 so rearranging this I've got uh, first I'm going to get rid of the 8x so when I bring it to the left hand side it's going to become minus 8x and as for the negative 1 I'm going to take to the right hand side which will become plus 1 so on the left hand side, I've got negative 7x is less than or equal to negative 14. And I've got to get rid of the negative 7. Uh, so of course, negative 7 is getting multiplied. So on the other side, it is going to get divided. And remember that whenever you divide by a negative number, you've got to switch the signs. So the signs actually going to switch over, which means our final answer is going to be x is greater than or equal to 2. So really kind of um, just be aware that when you divide by a negative uh, number, uh, your inequality actually um, switches. So it's only for division, right? Sometimes people get confused with subtraction. It doesn't happen for subtraction, just for division. Cool. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.